Microsoft Teams is a communication hub where you and your team can communicate, collaborate, and chat. Just imagine one place where you can utilize all the tools that Office 365 has to offer, work with large teams or small teams, then create channels that can be seen by the entire team, or create private channels, where it's only limited to a smaller group. Within this team, Information Services, we have a channel called Field Services, and here we can do things like schedule meetings, communicate, even upload files that we can collaborate on. On the left, you'll see a navigation bar where we have things like activity. We can chat, we can view our teams, as well as our calendar. We can also manage things like calls, files, and tasks using Microsoft Planner. Within a channel, you can notice right here, we have things like posts, files, we can access things like meeting notes, a wiki, as well as additional apps that we can add up here on the top as a tab. Within this channel, we can see people's online presence with these indicators. We can also have a thread of communication, like right here, that is often a great alternative to an email. We can either respond to a conversation or we can click here and start a new one, even at mention people. All of these conversations are saved, but it's easy to access files from a while ago. All you need to do is click here on files and you'll have easy access to those shared documents. Within this document library, you can even create new documents, upload them, sync them to your computer, copy a link, download, even add additional cloud storage. The teams that you create could be long-lived or they could be short-lived, and you get to choose who is a member of that team. You can then create your own channels. Let's take a look. I'm going to click right here and join or create a team. We'll create a team. I'm going to build one from scratch, but you can create one from an existing Office 365 group or team. We can then choose, do you want it to be private? And that way people need permission to join. Or you can make it public and anyone within your organization is able to join. I'm going to make this one private. We'll give our team a name. We'll give it a brief description. Then choose Create. From here we can add members if we'd like, or we can do so later. If allowed by your organization, you can also add external guests if you'd like to. You'll just type in their email addresses. You can do so now or later. I'm going to add a few people now. Then I'll choose Add and Close. It's that easy. I can always add and remove people, and I can also add additional channels. I can just click here. You can see I have lots of different management choices, but I'd like to add a channel. I'll call this one Beginner Webinars, and then I get to choose my privacy. Do I want everyone on the team to see this channel, or do I want it to be accessible by only a specific group of people within the team? I'm going to make this one standard and choose Add. You'll notice the default was General Channel. Every team has a general channel, but from there, you can always add additional ones. And as I mentioned before, we have posts or conversations, we have a place for files, we have a wiki, and we can always add additional tabs. We also have access to a calendar, we can see that a few meetings have been established. This is going to tie in with our Outlook calendar, so you can view it either here in Teams or within Outlook. We have options like Meet Now for an ad hoc on-the-fly meeting. We can also click here to create either a new meeting or a live event. I'm going to quickly schedule a meeting. What I can do is add channels. Not only can I invite individuals, but I can also invite an entire channel to this meeting. For example, Information Services, Field Services. That way, any members of this team or channel will be able to access this meeting. When I'm done, I'll choose Send. Once we start a meeting, we can do things like share our screens, even record the meeting for later viewing. Not only can we create meetings, have conversations as a team, we can also chat with individuals or a smaller group. We'll click here on Chat and begin chatting with our coworkers. This is a persistent chat where we can have a more casual conversation that doesn't necessarily need to be an email. It's quick, easy, we can do things like share files, we can also switch to a voice call, a video call, even share our screen, and invite additional members to the conversation. To start a new message, I'm just going to click here, begin typing someone's name, and have that conversation. And just like a conversation within a channel, we have tabs on the top here where we can access things like chat, the files that we've shared, among other things. With these shared cloud documents, collaboration couldn't be easier. I'm going to click here and open this document. I can view it either right here within Teams, open the desktop app on my computer, or click here and open in my browser. I can tell by your picture that Samantha is co-authoring this document right now, and I can also see exactly where she's clicked. 
right here, I can see a little flag. I'm going to split the screen and show you what it looks like from my perspective, as well as from Samantha's perspective. On the right, we can see that she's using the web app. You can access Teams through a web browser, even download it onto your mobile device. Let's take a look. If I'm clicked here, Samantha can see that I'm clicked there. And if she were to click here, we're co-authoring and collaborating on the same document. Microsoft Teams is a chat-based hub for communication, which encourages things like collaboration, productivity, and communication, providing a modern workplace for you to come together on projects.